What about you? What are your thoughts on love languages and compatibility? Do you know your love language? Slash love languages. Physical touch. Mm hmm. Oh, I guess that's my cue. You're a little bit far, but I love you. Okay, you're gonna. Not a pat on the knee. I don't know what to do. You're I'm like, quite far right. in this bush between us. Thanks, coach. <laughs> like, jeez. All right, slugger. Yeah. You go out and get uh. there. <laughs> Orange slices at halftime, brother. I feel like I should have put on shorts. Like, are you not wearing anything under there? I have underwear. Be honest. I have are you wearing panties? Yes. Yeah, let me see. No. We're in front of multiple cameras. So <laughs> Let's show me over here. <laughs> Welcome to Playing House, the podcast about keeping your relationship sexy and secure. I am the most delusional Coulter Bouchard. And I'm Dominique, and we are a real couple having real conversations, inviting you in as our third. On today's episode, Love Languages and Compatibility, loving your partner the way that they want to be loved, and learning to settle arguments. But first, how you doing? Well, okay, so I've been watching Monique's interview on the Shay Shay podcast. Shannon Sharp. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so listen, I've been watching it over a few days. First, I watched the teaser, and I was like, yes! And I'm really getting into it, and I'm getting so upset by the things that she's just, like by her experience that I'm having to break up the interview into like a few hours on this day or a few minutes on this day, a few minutes on the next day. Cause like it's enraging. It's that traumatic. Just, it's just like, it's, it's just so not to that level, but just so many women, so many black women experience like the silencing and the gaslighting that she's experienced. And to see like, I've, seeing it on Twitter, seeing it on Instagram, seeing like these discussions, these discourses around Monique specifically, and then seeing that she has the receipts, she has recordings, she has proof. And even with all that, people aren't listening to her. And even seeing her experience that in the interview, it's like, in rage, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> but she's a woman. <laughs> oh, and she keeps she's saying, a black woman. She's that... like, I'm a fat black woman. Of course they don't want to hear from me. And it's like, yeah, it's enraging to listen to. And like, I'm not even... Halfway through yet, probably. And I'm just like, oh. Listen, I've been a fan of Monique yeah. since Fat Girls. Since watching really? the movie Fat Girl. <laughs> what do you mean, really? That's a masterpiece. Oh, that's the one where they kept playing the song African Queen. I can't you, remember. I, she goes to Africa. She yeah. goes to some African country. Yeah. Okay. okay. It's her and yeah, the skinny yeah. chick. Uh, is it Regina in that movie? I don't remember this movie. I just remember what they kept playing a that film. song over and over again. What a film. Love Fat Girls. Okay. I've probably seen Fat Girls like three, four times. And I, like, it's embarrassing that I don't know more about the film. It's been a while. Should we watch Fat Girls tonight? Like you've watched it three or four times on television or like, like on TV. intentionally? Okay. I thought like, like you purchased it. It was on and I was like, I would like to watch this now. Right, right, right. Yeah, they used to play it a lot on BET, I feel like. This thing's in our way. What's going on here? Oh, you've ruined the illusion. Oh no, it's real. <laughs> I am... Um, I bought, I feel like I've, we've had this thing for like a month now. I can't get it to like expand, look proper. Yeah, I expanded the other ones so that they, because they used to look like now they're kind of giving gang signs. You know what I mean? Right. Um, How do you, you get to them do the to, to do it this. properly? You got to bend a little bit tip to everybody. That. If you have faux plants, it's like, oh, there, yeah, it's going to take some time. Like they're years? In, no, not years. What but, if you like, what if you scored them with a, like a knife or something? Uh, Would that help? These ones I bought off Amazon. This one I got in like a store. Yeah. You'd think it would be better quality, the store plant. Um, it, but it was packaged, you no? Know? Like they wrap it up in, in yeah. plastic and send it to you. So that's probably why it takes time to release. Listen, it still looks better than like a real one would. Because a real one would be dead. It'd be dead, yes. A real would one would be, be dead. brown and just like gross. Well, in a basement, yes. Yeah. So get back to, to me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling really good this week because... I've been doing this practice where I'm just trying to like, I'm trying to speak out again. Yeah. I think for a very long time, I've been like kind of silencing myself mm. just for safety, for other people's comfort, just out of exhaustion too. Like I don't, I, I would always pick a fight, not pick a fight, but like any fight that was brought to me was the one that was going to happen. Because if you like, if you act up, you can get smacked up. Right. Yeah. But for a while I've been thinking like, I'm put just that on, choose put it that on some merch, by the I, way. That's not me. That's not an original. Thank you. Okay. But. No, but, but what Monique said in the interview, she said, where you act up is where I will show up. Mm. And I love that. That's beautiful. With receipts. 
Okay. With and recorded it. phone calls. Beautiful. So with your driver's license. Monique is your mom. My mom will, in fact, find your your ID. Yeah. And photocopy it. Uh, absolutely. Got my phone number when we were dating. Yep. I don't. Yep. I don't know how to that your happened. Resume, I still don't even know what your dorm room phone number was. Did, did you know the number? I don't think so. She found it. Yikes. So I'm wearing blue because the throat, the throat chakra. Uh, you use blue crystals to activate your throat chakra. So why blue? That's I don't know. It's the color. Okay. But like, why? Why what? Why blue particularly? That is the color for the throat chakra. And I'm asking why. I don't know. I don't. I haven't studied these things enough. Okay. Google. So you're coming Ask in half cocked. <laughs> What? Not me. Full cocked every time, baby. Full cocked. So I got a comment on Instagram, which wasn't, I wouldn't even say it was like rude. He fully said, I know I'm being a hater, but like, here's my comment. I acknowledge that like, I'm ruining this moment or whatever. And it was just like, it was an annoying comment. Great and, start, by the way. Right? And so I was, I was in a bad mood that day. And I said, well, you know what? Where you act up is where I will show up. Yeah. So I responded. And him and I, we had, a, I'd say back and forth, but I put like two comments. He put two comments. And then finally he deleted his comment. Because he, I, like I assume. What a puss. No, I love that. I love when you have been called out. You reflect, you realize, you know what? This is not worth being on the internet. This is not worth a discourse. What I've done does not need to exist. I'm going to delete this. That's beautiful. No, 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 no. Leave it up as a shrine to your stupidity. And then <laughs> comment again and be like, I'm sorry, you're right. And this will live here forever. <sighs> As a monument, as a testament, as a testament to my stupidity. Wow. Shouldn't have wow. done this. And because this lives on the internet forever, on this random woman, I mean, you're not random to me, but you're random to yeah, this to person. Yeah, this person. This woman's video, like, I'm, I'm going to feel shame every time I open the Instagram you know app, what? right? Well, I don't know that people need to shame themselves. Like, it's, They it's, do. It's also a reasonable act to just, listen, when you've learned something, like I've seen people post things and then get called out and educated. And then they're like, okay, I'm going to keep this here because other people yeah. can see it and learn something It's a resource. Too. That's beautiful. But you know what? Sometimes in the comments, absolutely. But in this case, it was just some dumb nonsense. And he like agreed that did not need to be on the internet. And he deleted it. Admitting you're wrong on the internet and leaving it up is like donating your body to science. Because like you're dead. And in the case of the Instagram comment, your credibility is dead. And you're able to like, you're able to like give humanity something good. I'm not doing that. So I, I, I didn't expect you to be a big person like that. No, I'm going to be turned into a diamond. Mm. So how are you doing? And then what are they going to do with the diamond? What if I'm dead? Yeah, you can wear it. Okay. Okay. Priceless in life, priceless in death. I don't know what to tell you. You can put a price on a diamond. Not you me. go to the store and they're like, hey, this is like several thousand yeah. dollars. Yeah, so you're going to take me to what? In the, in the, not auditors. What are they? Are they auditors? Like a jeweler? And they just like. And they audit yeah, the sure. jewel. <laughs> I'm oh. really stuck on this word. Uh, what's the word? It's um, not auction. Appraise. Appraise. Yes, yes. Appraiser. And they should like, just praise. Skip the app. Just praise. It's just here I am. Yes. Already a diamond in life. But yes. in death, wow. Sure. You know what I mean? How are you doing? I'm a piece of coal to your diamond. I could become you, right? With with Ooh, more with pressure. pressure. Yeah. Ah. With the pressure of being a black woman. And I understand that saying coal and then black woman uh, right next to each oh other, no God. context. I don't mean like that. It's an unfortunate, um, it's an unfortunate situation. We find ourselves, we together. We? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, not how I meant it, but you know, we're going to move on from this. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully, so. I'm giving you no assistance. None. Here. Nope. You, you Much dug, like in life. You've dug this. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. That's it. You're great. Uh, <laughs> you really we support don't know how to dress. women. Just put the white fist down. And we're having fun. We're having fun. Other than this mess you've made of yourself, how are you doing? Uh, doing well. Hit 200K on Instagram. Hey. Yeah. That's big. Congratulations. Killed it. Killed it. When did you hit that? Uh... Yesterday, I think. Oh, you didn't Day before yesterday. Anything. I was hoping you would. I was hoping you'd be like, oh my God, whoa. Do you want a cake? Okay, cupcake. Got some cake today. 
Got some cake first thing. You know what? That was why, because I was congratulating you. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Congratulating me? Oh, my, we're never going to get that Disney partnership, ever. No, just like, it's a combination. Listen, Disney. Who's the CEO? Bob Iger? Listen, Bobby, baby, um, Mr. Iger. <laughs> Throw some respect. <laughs> Your Highness, congratulations is come here and congratulate me. Right. And I'm just, you're a busy man. You get it, right? Right. We need synergy. Oh. We need corporate efficiencies. This, this is a corporate podcast. We need to lay some people off. What? Not us, though. And not you. Who's going to lay off the CEO? Coulter, how are you doing? I'm doing great. I, I don't hit know. It. I hit it this morning. It was great. You hit it too. So we were we were fighting. Hits going both ways. And it was delightful. Thank you very much. That was a wonderful uh, surprise to wake up to. I'm talking about prayer. We hit that Bible, baby. <laughs> uh, Philatians 2. Did you just pronounce it like that on purpose? <laughs> I'm sick of you. <laughs> Not fellation. Oh my god! <laughs> and then you took me out for breakfast. That's how you know it's good, by the way. It wasn't Red Lobster. For years, and I know we're getting in the weeds pretty bad here already. Not even we are started the podcast. Eight minutes into this. Wow. But for years, I've been asking Dominique after, like, after a particularly good session of mummy daddy time. I want you to take me to Red Lobster, and I don't want you to like warn me. I just like I, and that's how I'll know it's really. You good. drove the car today. Yeah, but like, what did you want? For you to drive, for you I'm to get not an driving Uber. Your car. Drive me in your car. Mm, I didn't want to do that today. I wanted to be driven. I wasn't. Let me take a ride in your chopper. That song. You if you hit it good, I'm gonna take his ass to Red Lobster. That's what I want. I want the Cheddar Bay biscuits. I want Shrimp Fest. Okay. Maybe not the right word to use when I'm talking about mommy Ew. daddy time. <laughs> Shrimp. Listen, I'm gonna hop. I'm gonna skip over your whole part. The check in is done. We're getting into family matters. I don't care anymore. The check in is not done. <laughs> um, shout out to Dominique for uh, this was a real surprise today. An early birthday present. Thank you so much, it honey. It was a surprise to me too. You woke. What a me surprise! Up. <laughs> what a surprise! Then you walked into the room and you announced. You're buying me a lens for my birthday today. And I want to point out. No, there was a question mark. You're, I just got the vibe, right? I'm like, you're buying me a lens for my birthday today? <laughs> but it's weeks away. My birthday's March 7th. Nia's birthday is in a week. Did we already get her a gift? No. Right. The birthday party hasn't even, like, I haven't even finalized the number of attendees. And here you are telling me about your birthday. And then I get to the store with you. And then you announced to the man, oh, yeah, she's buying He has this. a name, and it's Steve. Shout out, His Steve. His name was not Steve. <laughs> it was Steve. Dude, he had a name tag. And he said at the end, he my name, name is Steve. Tag. Yes. He used to work at the Toronto Sun. I remember I didn't that like part. that part, but. Yeah. Otherwise, a great dude. Steve, eh? Steve. Shout out to Steve. Shout, shout out to Steve. <laughs> but anyway, so you announced to poor Steve, she's buying me this lens today for my birthday. Mm -hmm. And then the whole, all the staff start getting excited, like looking at me like, oh my God, what a great wife. And I'm like, his birthday is weeks away. Yeah. I, I, it was just like, nice. What a surprise. To Dominique. <laughs> Thank you. Beautiful. Got to admit, it's a beautiful it's lens. It's a beautiful though. lens. Yes. It's a you Zeiss will take lots of photos of me. 135 millimeter F2. Oh my goodness. Sensational. What a lens. Heavy too. Just like that cake. Hopping into Family Matters, today we're talking about love languages and compatibility. And my love language is Dominique. <laughs> sick of you. I'm Fully so and truly. Okay, I'll kick things off. So when we talk about love languages, what are love languages? So there are five. Wow, thank you so much. It's a podcast. People can't see. It's a visual podcast. Half of our audience some, watches. But the other half have okay. no idea what I'm you're holding doing. up a hand. Yeah, you have to consider accessibility. Some people cannot see you right now. Oh my God. I'd like to access a stiff drink. <laughs> Anyways, so there are five love languages. Um, oh, okay, here we go. So... Um, Words of affirmation, acts of service, um, gifts, physical touch, and, oh, I keep forgetting this one, quality time. 
Okay. So uh, back when we first got married, like within our first year of marriage. You read a book. I gave it to you. So you too read that book? We read a book. Did you read the book? We read a book. Called? There's so many books. Look at the books back here, right? <laughs> so many books. Again, if you're li- sorry, if you're listening, the host is sitting in front of a bookshelf, which has a number <laughs> of really large, intelligent books, <laughs> like Pimp by Iceberg Slim. Yeah. They're organized so beautifully, though. They're color-coordinated color coordinated, um, by a wife that must really love you. Yeah. Because that gave me a headache. I used to not come down here because I was pissed off by just, like, the, the clutter of books. Anyway, so the book is called The Five Languages of Love, I believe it's, it's called. Something to that effect. It could be The Five Love Languages, The Five Languages of Love, whatever. Um, so I read that within our first year of marriage because the first... You look like you're about to interrupt me, so I'm just giving you the, the opportunity to. So the first year of marriage was particularly hard, um, especially because we had gotten married and within a few months hopped on a plane and moved across the world. Um, so communication was like really stinking tough. Plus, we were in our early stinking early t- tough. I really want to cuss, but I really want that uh, Disney trip. Disney trip. Yeah, that Disney partnership. Um, so reading that book. <laughs> I was able to identify. Listen, I'll cuss if you want me to. Yo, Jean is, they're, they're going on from episode nine, The Wilders. They're going at Disney like two weeks from now. Does she want that information to be public yet? Yeah, she's going on a big cruise. Oh, okay, good. I'll double check before I, if this is still in, uh, Gina either gave permission yeah. or I forgot to ask, <laughs> but. <laughs> oh my God. Um, Their address is. <laughs> so what I identified is, is that my love languages are, and so, sorry. So there are the five love languages and The idea is that everybody has at least one um, of those five love love, uh, of those one of those five love languages is how you prefer to be communicated to. Um, So, for example, why are you laughing? Is it greedy to have like all five of them? Well, everybody obviously fits under all five, but like one or two are stronger than the others. I'm just imagining like, what's your love language? Oh, (laughs) are you drunk? No, I've had a drink in like six months. I'm chuckling so hard over there and I'm trying so hard to like get my mind to communicate this properly. Um, (laughs) So, for example, if your love language, uh, what if your strongest love language is words of affirmation, then from your partner, you really love to be reminded like I love you or you're doing a great job. Or like from your parents, you love to hear like, wow, I'm really proud of you. And at work, hearing like that project that you just presented, you really Knock that off. Knock that out of the park. I don't know. Sports. Good job, Johnson, on those TPS reports. It, right? Shout out to Johnson. Where's 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 his siren? To Johnson. <laughs> and a oh. uh, reference to Office Space. You haven't seen Office Space. I think I tried to watch it with you and fell asleep. Okay. So don't the try King to of the Hill back. guy, Mike Judge. His first like big, big King movie. King of the Hill is an animation. How can the guy from King of the Hill it's a, it's is an animation? Okay, it's not. It's okay. Anyway, um, so my love languages are um, acts of service and gifts. Can you describe uh, those two? Because it's easy to say like gifts, acts of service. Like what does that mean specifically for you? Yeah. And those two love languages are actually like quite in the book. I was learning that they have a lot of similarities and people who love acts of service typically love gifts too. So acts of service for me means like um, getting help. When I'm bringing something into the house, he'll jump up and help me with like carrying some of the load too. I don't know why you're nodding. I'm just describing what I want. I didn't describe you necessarily. Um, <laughs> you're trying hard not to speak while I speak. Eh? <laughs> um, acts of service, um, not having to be asked and not having to be like prompted to get physical support. So that's like. Hey, Dom, I just came home and I picked up groceries on the way home, for example. Like, that's act of service. Um, if I leave something out, you'll see that and just think, yeah, I'll help her out and just pick it up on the way up the stairs for me, for example. Um, if you see on the calendar, I have something coming up on a Friday, m- working it into your calendar so you could come home early and support Nia. Like, that's acts of service in my love language, at least. And then with gifts, and you'll hear like the similarities, obviously, like, I. Love being surprised with stuff. Um, 
I'm a big surprise period. It sounds really narcissistic. And the book describes that too, that people often look at it as like one of the lesser um, love languages because it's, it can you like be, to be seen, served. Right. And but, serviced. But I think that's because that's the type of person that I am. Like with my friends, I'm very much like. <laughs> Lazy and greedy. <laughs> am I? <laughs> with my friends, I'm very much like, I don't know, like that mama bear. Like I'm always going to make sure y'all are good. Mm. I'm always going to like. If you come to my house, like I'm making sure you're taking containers home with you. Like, make sure you bring home like some of the pizza and shit. Like, I'm not pretending I'm cooking. Yeah, I was. I wanted but, to. Like, I was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, I wanted to let waiting. you finish your sentence because I was like, <laughs> of the roast you put together, <laughs> slaved over the kitchen all day over but, the kitchen. <laughs> whatever people do, in slaved the kitchen. over the Domino's app today. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I'm, I always. Acts of service is how I express my love to the people in my life, my friends, my family, my my lover, obviously, at the end of the day. And so, like, it feels really good when I get that back unprompted. Mm. Um, and so with gifts now, um, you when you and I first started dating, I think it was like a year into. No, it was when we first moved in. You bought me the leather jacket. Do you remember? Oh, yeah. From Danye. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Shout out Danye. I thought they closed. They, no, they're not closed. Then they got a store at the mall. Yeah. Yeah. Probably more malls. Okay. Than just the one that I went to. Wow. What a good story. Online. Are they online now? Yeah. Good for them. World Wide Web, baby. Look at that. HTTP. Colon slash slash. Yeah. Yeah. Probably like danye.com. I would hope there's an S with the HTTP because you want the security, you know? I don't think that makes a difference. Yeah. It's secured. Okay. Sure. Uh, anyway, um, so it's a nice ass. You've still got that jacket. I still have it. I can't fit into it, but my idea is like to save it for Nia when she can. Fit okay. into it. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, maybe I'm a hoarder. Um, it, maybe it goes back to the story as well. So you bought me that jacket for my birthday and it wasn't a cheap jacket. No. Um, you can say that. No, it was no, not. No, it was expensive as hell. It was like 250 $300 in like 2012 money. Yeah. And we were... It's like 10 grand now. Okay, yes. That's how conversion (laughs) works. That's how inflation works, okay? (laughs) Thanks a lot, Sleepy Joe. So you bought that for me, and I I was shocked that nobody has ever, like, I guess, bought such an expense, bought something so expensive for me, one. And two, just like, I don't want this to sound like, oh, I have a rich man, and I'm so excited now. You do not not have a rich rich. man. (laughs) Right? But it was just like that you would... With the money that you did have, you would think like, yes, Dom, and you are worth spending this on because I want to celebrate you. Really meant something to me. And it's again coming back to my my childhood, not having a whole lot of money. Um, Growing up and going to school in Canada, there was a year where I didn't even have a winter coat. You know what I mean? So like, it's full circle. It's more than just like, oh, I love being, I'm a woman and I love being treated by my man with gold and diamonds. And though I love those things. Of course. Um, and you deserve those things. Thank you. It's From also- a different man, I am broke <laughs> and I am moving on. I want some cheap chick, you know? I get it. Like, like, let's go and get, let's, here's a $25 wig. And she's oh like, my. oh my God, what is it, Christmas? What is it, double Christmas? And I'm, I'm like, sorry. I'm sorry. I, there's less where that came from. My husband is white, but that's. Uh, uh, those rules don't apply here. It's not even synthetic. It's like, it's made of, it's, it's like an asbestos sort of wig fibers, or something. Like, my God. <laughs> it's made of old tires. And so, and when I brought it home, my mom was like, Dominique, how could you accept this? Mm. Like she immediately made me feel so bad for accepting such like one, an expensive gift and two, just gifts period. Like, and this might be a Caribbean thing. I don't know. Um, but when I was in like high school, we would like trade MP3 players and like you would have mine for the night and I'd have my friends for the night. And we'd listen to each other's playlists. But my mom would yell at me like, don't take other people's things. Don't like, don't even borrow it. Don't let people think that like you need things from them basically at the end of the day, which like I get. But I think that that's why that drives my love language today, like gifts and feeling like I'm worthy of receiving mm-hmm. in the same way that I love giving is really important for me. Mm-hmm. I feel like that was so long winded. Thank you for listening. No, I appreciate that. <laughs> I wanted the context. Uh, don't want the bills. You okay. need a second job. Um, uh, I'm not going to do that. Or it's just like being black, a second job and being a woman, a third job. I would say. And being a black woman, a fourth job. And so where does motherhood fall into all of that? Cause I'm that full time too. A job is something that you can take your hot hat off at the end of the day and go to bed. Name one of those things that. So that those are all to. what prison sentences. 
Although no, sometimes in prison they let you they let you like leave during the day. That's crazy. What prison is this? During prison they have like it's like during ni- prison? Nights, nights and weekends prison. Oh they let yeah, you, yeah, yeah. What, so people go to prison for the weekend. What is that? That seems like a really long time. No, like what if you have to fulfill like a year? How many weekends is that? Well, I don't think they like let you split it up. I don't think they're like, listen, you can either pay up front now or yeah, like <laughs> like zero percent interest for the next yeah like prison layaway. I don't think they're doing prison layaway. I think they're just like, uh, hey, you know, you like, you like murdered that guy, but it's not for like murderous crimes. It's for like, I hope not. I don't know. Maybe you didn't, you missed a tax payment. I don't think they're sending, I don't think they're sending people to, to prison for um, debt anymore. Oh, good. I think that's, that's like, a, I think debtor's prison is like a real 19th century concept. So but what did Martha Stewart go to prison for? Something insider like trading. Oh, yeah. those taxes. No, no, no. Insider okay. trading. Okay. Whoa, that's big. Yeah, that's not. Well, and I guess technically like tax evasion is fraud. Right. But right, like right, right. owing it, you don't go to jail for owing money. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. You shouldn't criminalize like. Being poor. Well, it wasn't gonna... The world already kind of does that. Yeah. What about you? What are your thoughts on love languages and compatibility? Do you know your love language? Slash love languages. Physical touch. Mm-hmm. Oh, I guess that's my cue. You're a little bit far, but I love you. Okay, you're gonna not a pat on the knee. I don't know what to do. You're I'm like, right far right. in this bush between us. Thanks, coach. <laughs> like, geez. All right, slugger. Yeah. You go out and get uh. there. <laughs> Orange slices at halftime, brother. I feel like I should have put on shorts. Like, are you not wearing anything under there? I have underwear. Be honest. I, have, I, have underwear. I know Bob's watching. Bob Iger of Disney, but like, you wearing panties? Yes. Yeah. Let me see. No. We're in front of multiple cameras. So- <laughs> Let's show me over here. We, we got to figure out this plant. That's another yeah, love language. That's... Figuring out this plant. Yeah. So I think your love languages are physical touch and words of affirmation. Absolutely. Tell me how great I am. Yeah. Like I already know, but it's mm-hmm. nice to hear it. It's nice. To, here's the thing. Words of affirmation. It's actually for you uh, so that I know that you're still coherent what? That I know that you haven't like succumbed to early onset dementia, just so that I know you're still sane. Because when you're like Coulter, you're like the greatest lover, certainly, uh, and so funny, and wow, just like what an amazing man, human in general. I go like, oh, okay, she still got it all together. You're a, mm, okay. She just got to think of that Disney trip, eh? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the the moment we're back. <laughs> You're going to tell me how great I am? Ooh, oh, I'm going to tell you a lot of things. Like, oh, what are you going to tell me? Lot what are you going to tell me? Gotta, ooh, gotta what are you going to tell me? Full. Don't even worry. What's yeah, in the book? But, mm, Who's the book dedicated to? The, <laughs> your mom. So from the very beginning, uh, I could tell that your love language is physical touch. Because I remember when, like before we even started dating and we were just chilling in your dorm room, I tried to like tease you by like trying to mess up your hair. And like your eyes would immediately roll oh, back. Oh, I love yeah. when you scratch my head. Oh my god! <laughs> like, oh, this is not what I thought it was. Show your <laughs> what nails. Do like that's what we're dealing with. Oh my god! Where do I show them? It uh, kind of a double edged sword because like long nails means that there's a little something something you can't do. But oh, what if you like? What if you just had one? I'm not changing my nails for you. Middle finger that didn't have a long. That's nail. the most important finger. But like on your. Like non-dominant, like on your left hand. That's still the most important. I'm a double hander when it comes to these sorts of important tasks. Like what? What do you use your middle finger for? I don't know. What kind of what kind of important tasks do you need two hands for? If somebody is in traffic and really bugs me, I'm gonna take both hands off the wheel and let them know that they've bugged me. You keep both your hands on this wheel. <laughs> both feet too. If you got a friend with an X hand, I'll take that hand too. We're never gonna see Disney last. We're gonna see Disney. <laughs> Plausible deniability. We're talking about driving, Bob. Come on. Shout out to Bob for running. What a great company. The movies, love them, all of them. I want to go to the Bippity Boppity Boutique with my daughter. Yeah. And you're just ruining that for I'm me. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not. I won't. This won't be a clip. Be funny if this was a clip, though. <laughs> Very meta. This, he's not going to see this. Right? He's probably got, Bob probably has like podcast watchers. They have the strongest marketing team i would assume yes. yes he's got people that are just like making notes they have probably the same people that beyonce has you think like it's one mega team 
Shout out to Beyonce for the new. Shout out to Be- How are we not talking about this? I assume that would be part of your check in. Oh, no. Uh, but also, like, boo to Beyonce, more like Excuse boo to Beyonce. Me? This this woman's costing us so much money. <laughs> Don't ever do that. Especially so during much money. our month. How dare you ever use boo? Our hers. month is January. That's when our anniversary is. My month is February. Okay. And March. Why March? March International is my birthday. Women's Day and Women's Month. Isn't my birthday uh, it's Women's the 7th Day? The seventh and w- the eighth is Women's oh Day. Oh my god! And April is my month too. Ask me why. Because it's your birthday. Period. And then May is my month. Because you're a mom. Period. And June is my month. Because of Juneteenth. Period. And is July your month? Yes. Why? Because it's Canada Day. Uh no. Because it's nice and sunny. Because it's sunny and I, I thrive in the sun. Hey. And August is my month. Why? Caravana. Hey. Oh, yo, August is my month too, then. <laughs> Damn. You bringing me to Banna this year? First of all, no. Why not? Stay home and behave. You always talk about your waist is made of, of concrete and, and, shame. and shame. So so what, what are you doing? You don't like loud music? Like, what, what are you going to do at Caravana? Listen, I'm, I'm working on the waist this year. Are you? That's the work? Yeah. What can you walk up is the question. I'm walking up to it. Walk- <laughs> Maybe if you're down, we can Bro, play masses I would here. destroy it, Caravan. I don't know. You, you know hate it. loud music. Yeah, I put on earplugs. I just okay. mean like, I'd be the star attraction. You, you would have a lot of fun if you allowed yourself to. 100%. I believe that. Would you play mass? No, but like I definitely thought it up. So you would what? Climb a fence? No, no, no. We're too grown for that. Oh, look, you have to play mass to be on the... To be on the road. Otherwise, you're just behind <sighs> a fence watching people have fun. Can you still, like, grind on girls in the audience? The other people who are in the audience, but again, like, I just... They're also broke, though, right? They're not necessarily broke. They just didn't want to invest in that. Okay. We'll talk about it. But, like... We'll talk about it. <laughs> this is a this is a private conversation okay. for later. That's what's private. Yeah. Not everything else you yeah. Okay, cool. We need cool, to come cool. up with what's permissible. That's the line, guys. That's we need to find out what we're allowed to do. So at Carabana? Yeah. I really don't care about you winding up on other girls. I don't I don't mind that. Okay. That'll be a clip. Hey, we love a supportive wife. <laughs> you can wind up on other girls too. Not men? Sure. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I didn't need the permission. Like, I'm very much. Like, I was playing last year. I didn't. Oh yeah. So, but yeah, what was I, happening I last year? Like, what was going on last year? It. It's, uh, some people in their marriage, they don't like. That's the line for them. I. It, it's just dancing. It's just dancing. If you can't, when you get married, what you're no longer allowed to dance with other people. That's a weird rule. May call one of your homegirls. Which homegirl? To say what? Why don't I call one of your homegirls? Who you want to call? We'll talk about it off. No, tell me right now. No, because if they if they can't make it, I'll call the second or third. I just want the person that shows up to think that they were, oh yeah, it was like you the whole time. Why are we calling them? So what's your love language? A threes. <sighs> okay, words of affirmation. Get into <laughs> that one. <laughs> so words of affirmation, you could say yes. You could say I'm affirming that your decision, Coulter. That's great. Big fan. You got anything else to add to Family Matters? It's going to be a shorter episode. I think it's important to... Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, I like do have something serious to say. Uh-huh. I can't even look at you. Okay, so it's, I think it's... Stop looking at me. I think it's important uh, when you're trying to like show somebody that you're respecting their love language, you need to love them the way they want to be loved. It's so funny you mention respect. Why is that funny? It's hilarious. Why is it hilarious? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So how do you so want funny? to be loved, Scooter? Uh, I think I made that quite clear a moment mm, ago. Doubling down. Yes, by doubling. Yes, that's how I'd like to be loved. <laughs> um, often, uh, here's a perfect example. When you're buying a gift for somebody, how often do you think like, oh, I want to get them this because I think it's cool. And yeah. like secretly, I want them to like let me use it or like play with it never, or whatever. Never, no. I understood. I think this is cool. I'm not going to buy something. I think something, some, someone, something I think is, is nonsense. Why am I wasting my money? It's a whole lie. I bought you a lot of nonsense over the years. Remember you made me buy you an, an egg boiler, an egg cooker? Mm. What was that about? It was a pot. 
No. It was like a, a little thing. Ooh, as a little it. thing, like a little pot? No, it was like a little device. Are pots egg-shaped? Can pots... Do pots come with molded plastic to take four eggs? Listen to the nonsense I had to spend my good, good money on, okay? Is a piece of plastic shaped like an egg. I forgot egg. about this thing. Stupidity. Uh, uh, so you fill it with water, and then you plug it in, and what does it do, Coulter? It boils the eggs. But it, it's not like a timer, so you set it to like soft-boiled, hard-boiled. You're throwing it in a pot. I mean, you could Google it once and then know it forever, or you could guess each time. Did like it you ever do. work? Yeah, 100%. Yeah? How, how many times did you Yo, eat? I was eating beer egg. <laughs> Hag. Okay, so beer hag. So you. <laughs> Ask me how many <laughs> beer. Ask me what hag. <laughs> Colter, you buy people gifts not because you think it's good, but because you have money to waste. No, you buy something for somebody that they are actually going to use, and I use right. that thing. Right. Until it broke. Probably you like. probably use it twice. And then you said, this is stupid. And it, it, I'm pretty sure it smoked every time, or at least it smelled like smoke every time. Okay. You've you've almost set several pots on fire. And I have. I've, okay. Okay. But am I still here? Right. Did I die? Barely. Okay. I'm barely here? Oh, my God. I'm partially. What, what, There must be a God because uh, God is clearly testing me. This is like Jesus' uh, 40 days in the desert. You see, when people who don't know God start trying to, this is from my Christians. Listen, Lucifer himself quoted the Bible to Jesus. I want y'all to remember that. What do you read, Fallations? <laughs> you have this again. <laughs> yeah, my favorite book of the Bible, Fallations. Culture, talk about the gifts, please. So, for instance, so uh, Valentine's Day last week. Yeah. You've been talking about wanting a film camera. Yeah. And so I was like, I was doing all this research. I'm, research, I'm like, oh man, I'm going to get her like a, I'm going to get Dominique a vintage camera and like it's going to be really cool and it'll be like, uh, she'll be able to like really dial in all the settings and it's like this. D do I think Dominique wants to fiddle with anything? Do I have time for fiddling? You want. Is my name Coulter Bouchard? Do you I want, have this type of type of luxury in my life to just fiddle with nonsense. So anyway, I knew that Dominique wanted a camera that was like basically a disposable camera that you can put, like you can reuse so and you can dispose. put film in over, yeah. over and over again. So like, a, that's just the best way to describe it. Something thin, something that can fit in your Brandon Blackwood purse. Shout out to Brandon Blackwood. And, and my purse. That's what I got for you. Because yes. I'm like, if I got you a manual one where you've got to like, because it does wouldn't have autofocus, for instance. Like, you're yeah, not going to use it. That. You're not going to no, use no, that no. thing. No, no, no. I like to and then move on my day. You know what I mean? So in the same way that when you're buying somebody a gift, buy them mm -hmm. something they're actually going to use, buy them something they want. Yeah. When you're approaching love languages, you need to, um, or loving anybody at all in any way, you need to you need to love them the way they need to be loved, mm -hmm. not the way you think that they want to be loved mm -hmm. or the way you want to love them. And I think that your cancer experience was an example of that. Do you want to talk about that at all? Always love fitting in some cancer talk whenever we can. Uh, Hashtag tough con cancer talk. It was just like a tough couple of years. And, uh, why are you smirking? Am I smirking? It was just like it was a tough, arduous Oh my God, time. how dare you accuse oh, you me are of laughing. smirking you at are laughing. cancer. Interesting. Laughing at cancer. Clip that. Yeah. Almost died Black a couple History times. Month. Almost died a couple it was times world, It was this World episode. Cancer Day a couple weeks ago. Yes, it was. Did you remember? Yeah, I saw it on my calendar. Did you say happy cancer? I said shout out to me for supporting that man through cancer. Look at him. Wow. Canceled. Here. Canceled. Usually it's me. Thriving. Canceled. Canceled. You want to cancel a black woman during Black History Month? That is not what I said. Uh, so what is it that you that said? That is not what I said. Clarity? Right. So I know that during, um, <laughs> while you were going through treatment, you often said... <laughs> You often said, um, and as people who want to support those in treatments, it's awkward. You clumsily like want to support people and offer them like words of encouragement, but there's nothing you can say, unfortunately. To, and like, as fully... cancer people, we're sorry that it's so uncomfortable for you. Continue, please. <laughs> there's nothing you can say to fully like encourage or like bring that comfort. Like you can do your best. Um, 
but you would often say like people are offering like if if I need anything, let them know. And it's like you would often say it's better for you to just offer something or to like think of something that I like or something that I would need in that moment rather than putting the burden on you. Totally. To tell me when you need me, buddy, and then I'll be there. Yeah. Like, that's an extra step for you to now have to consider. And then I think a lot of people like tried to also try the other way, which was like showing up and, and giving you things that you didn't necessarily Mm. want in that moment or need in that moment maybe you needed solid solid solitude solitude thank you wow um maybe you just needed some time alone to watch a tv or just like be with your kid mm. and it's like no i'm gonna come over and, and like chill with you and, and which is nice like the intention of is of, of course there and beautiful but it's not necessarily what you need in that moment make it super easy for the person you're trying to support so like it doesn't have to necessarily be someone experiencing cancer, but I'll use that as a perfect example. Um, people who really nailed it, and this, like, not that it was a test or anything, this is me just like <laughs> looking back on it. The people who uh, were able to guess what I actually wanted <laughs> will be like, if you, like, if you wanted to do groceries for some somebody, mm. instead of saying like, if you, if you ever need this, I can, go like, hey, I'm gonna do a grocery run for you this week. I'm available these, right. these two options, let's say. Don't go like, what's good for you? Because then I got to think. Yeah. Here's yeah, yeah. two or three like time slots on various days at work for me. You pick one of them and I'll show up with stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I can come in if you want. I can put it away. I can just leave it on the porch. Just like try to be selfless. Yeah. yeah. The whole like, again, let me know if you need. I, I don't necessarily know what I need. Yeah. Yeah. It, you're asking me to pick something from an almost infinite, uh, like infinite possibilities. Yeah. It's like if you're on Netflix and you're faced with having to choose like between one of 10,000 different titles. Cheesecake Factory. Just give me, give me two, three options. And don't expect me to get back to you right away. Yeah. Don't yeah. be butthurt. And that's like, that's for, you know, new parents. Sure. Maybe you got a screaming kid you haven't slept in days. You know, rather than asking, like, what can I do for you? Those people have not slept. Yeah. They cannot think up any answers for you right now. Like, just offer something. Consider, like, even do research. Like, what do new, new parents, mm. what can they really use during that that chapter of their life? Like, it can go for many aspects of your life. Yeah. Um. So considering not only your own love languages and how you would like to be communicated to, but the people around you. Yeah. Like, my, um, I was going to say my sister. I think that her... Um, af her love language is affirmation is, is just just, just mm. like you um, we really didn't grow up in a house where like physical touch and stuff was the love language or I think say, we saying all, I love you yeah. or being nice yeah no kindness oh and we were kind we just had our own type of kindness kind of brutal to each other Listen, just because like, you didn't get bullied properly to you know teach you how to you know doesn't mean that we were bad people but like we didn't grow up in a huge like I love you house and like a big like huggy type of weird stuff. Um, but so my sister today, I, I'm realizing that she's getting better and better with like saying I love you and like mm. having it not be awkward. And just saying like you did a great job of that. Like oh you killed that. Like I'm really proud of you for that. Like we're in our 30s now and we're just starting to learn that relationship between the two of us. Yeah, you guys used to say, I hate you. Yeah. Like, hate you. And then it's like, yeah, I get yeah. that you're doing a bit, but like. You're grown now. You just, like, you just say, I love you. Yeah. So we grew up in, we we shared a bedroom as kids. And so like we had a bedtime song, which if you watched um, uh, the Wayne Brothers, what was that show called? In Living we're Color? Brothers and we're, no, like they had a their own show. It was just um, Marlon and, it's not Keenan. Keenan was on. My wife and kids. Anyways, they had a song. We remixed the song, and it was our bedtime song. It was like we're we're so bratters, we're we're tired, and we're yawning, and we're colored. Da -na -na -na, give me a pillow. And then at the end, we would say, "Hate you, hate you," and they go to sleep because it was very awkward telling each other I love you. And like we didn't really see our parents saying I love you. Like mm. we didn't. Nobody in our family we didn't see that type of affection. I don't think your parents loved each other very much. I think your parents. Damn. I think your parents kind of hated each other like a lot. Maybe today, but... Maybe there was some love there initially, but, like, by the end, no. Just hard feelings. That's it. Who wants to hear they're a product of hate? I mean, I'm fueled by hate. I am not. I am in my soft era. I am entering... It is Black History Month. Soft life, soft wig, right? <laughs> Right? <laughs> Shout out to Soft Life, Soft Wig. 
You deserve it. I'm buying a new one today because I'm actually really tired of this wig. Um, so in a couple of weeks, in a couple of episodes, you'll see me in a new one. Let me, know what Let me know in the comments what you want me to try because the one he chose is actually really cute. I was not expecting you to choose that one. Um, I'm good at wigs. No. Yeah. What? We're really trying to do blonde. I was going to say, I was considering blonde, especially with like Get some blonde Beyonce locks. and this new platinum she has going on. But I don't know that I would ever go platinum. Like that's such a huge change. Or like blonde braids. <sighs> Back to the braids. Eh? Yeah. Wasn't that like 10 episodes ago? I was like with the little the gold shit in it. Yes. Do the gold. Come on. Bring back the gold. I'm, I told you I'm buying a wig. Not that I'm getting braids. Okay. But when you do braids next. Okay. I'll probably do braids in April. And nice. And I'll get blonde. Okay? Nice. Yeah. Time for mailbox. Pillow Time for talk? pillow talk. I don't have a question. Do you? Oof. Oof. Okay. I do have a question. I just thought of it. Okay. I had one. But please go ahead. Oh, you go ahead. No. Nope. Please, please, please. Nope. No, go ahead. What was your question? I was bluffing. I know. <laughs> Shout out to gaslighting. <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself. Unprepared. Um, how can I better speak to your love language? Jizz. Uh, break your boy off a piece. Right. A little more frequently. Okay. Doesn't need to be like the full, you know. Doesn't need to be everything every day, uh -huh. all at once, but just like something every day. Something every day. Yeah. So that's like, like hugs count. That no hugs do not count. Okay. What's the entry level? <laughs> Me, hopefully. All right. <laughs> Entering or being entered, either way. You have two love languages. So right, right now it seems like you're speaking to physical touch. Uh, well, I mean, like, yeah. Yeah. So like, yeah, like it's nice. Like at the end of the day, you know, it's tough when I come home from work cause like it's the middle of Nia's bath time and all that. But like afterwards, just like, you know, unzip. Every day. Like something. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Any other one? Words of affirmation. Mm -hmm. You can do that now by affirming yes and shaking my hand. I said, okay. And nodded. It's black issue month. I can't commit. To, and especially shake your hand. That feels a little, come on. Okay. I can't. Mm. According to all of the comments on Instagram and TikTok, not only am I, actually, I'm no longer invited to the cookout because you I are. am the cookout. <laughs> Ridiculous. I'm not even inviting. <laughs> I've become the cookout. Y'all need to stop gassing this man. You Do need not. to stop. Do not. You need to stop. Keep gassing me. <laughs> yeah. Like the barbecue at a cookout. <laughs> They use gas. Some use charcoal, but got in trouble say. for that one earlier. So, what was you get in trouble for? Nah, we're not going to relitigate that. Oh but. lord. Okay. Anyway, uh, words of affirmation. Just like, ugh, I'm super needy, and I hate to admit this, but like sometimes I'll go, "Are you like, are you upset at me? Mm -hmm. What's going on? You angry?" That's that's like a valid question to ask someone. Though. Yeah. Yeah. To just like not roll your eyes, to not get like, ugh. yeah, just like. No, you're doing great. Make eye contact, smile. Yeah. Smiling be nice. You remember how to do that? Since marrying Often me. When you leave the room, there we yeah. go. Okay, that's we um, do the same thing. Yeah, I think that's fair. Just you know, sometimes you do it while my back is turned and I'm working. And then yeah, maybe like I, I roll my eyes because I'm in the middle of work. I don't have time for this right now. I'm working the well, way if, I'm home. Listen, if the back but, is turned, yeah. Pop up the box, <laughs> you know. <laughs> But I also don't want to, like, diminish what you just said or, like, speak over that and make it, like, it's not important. It's it's true. I do, when I say I'm practicing softness with myself, I also need to practice softness with you. Yes. So, yeah, that's, that definitely speaks to learning how to speak your love language. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like softness, you know? Mm -hmm. Don't do it, Coulter. Don't do it, Coulter. On to Mailbox. This is your opportunity to voice your questions, comments, concerns. You can email me, infocoltertalks.com. Got a couple in the inbox this morning, next couple weeks. And uh, the website's going to be ready at some point. We have a meeting on, I think it's Monday, with Alex. It's my boy doing our graphics. And then those are pretty much done. Website goes up and you'll be able to finally submit voice notes on 
which is what it is today, I just realized, on uh, the website. But you can always like slide into the DMs, leave us a voice note. This one is from, is this from Mark? Uh, Let's play it and find out. If you and Coulter had a big argument, how would you two settle it? Yes, that's Mark. Nude fighting. We have done that, yeah. Yeah, that's that's a surreal one, I think, for any couple, right? First couple times it happens, you're just like, oh, we're like, we're arguing, but you got like, you got the cans out, you know? <laughs> I see, and I see you looking down at my knees sometimes. <laughs> I'm like, man, my eyes are up here. The conflict is up here. <laughs> If I got in an argument with you, how would I settle it? Y'all, I am a straight shooter when it comes to this. Like a lot of people. No, avoid you'll ice me out for a day conflict. or two. So wait for it. A lot of people avoid conflict. I love conflict. I see conflict as a means to an end. Why are you chuckling over there? Turned on my conflict. I'm, <laughs> it's so you love, she loves picking a fight. I don't love picking fights. Again, act up, you get smacked up. Where you act up is where I will. Show up, according to Auntie Monique. Like, listen, I think that... If I hear, I will appear. Well, no, not necessarily. (laughs) So, I think that, like, when there's an issue, acknowledging it is really important. Because when you don't, the issue just kind of snowballs, and then it gets to the point where, like, you're blowing up, and it's like, this seems like a larger reaction than necessary for Mm. what's actually occurring right now. So, like... I enjoy conflict in that way. That being said, you're right. I do also um, default to icing you out if you've pissed me off about something with something um, and I'm not yet in a space to talk about it. That doesn't mean that I'm not eventually or don't have the desire to talk about it. But maybe I'm just not there yet or maybe I don't feel like I'm in a space where the, the conversation is going to be productive. You're a lot better now about um, not icing me out mm-hmm. and you're a lot better now at explaining to me calmly what is wrong Mm. and at being open to chat about it. Mm -hmm. And you've admitted sometimes, as have I, that you were wrong about something, that you didn't have all the information about something, that you did not give me the benefit of the doubt. And oftentimes we as human beings do this, we invent these, like we have these conversations with ourselves in our heads where we go, all right, this, my, my Dominique did this and she probably did this, I think, because of this. Let's and give then, a, like a, a better example that they can maybe visualize. Like if Coulter, um, Coulter has made plans to go out on Friday nights, um, and he hasn't put it on the family calendar for mm. me to see. He hasn't put it there because he is neglectful. <laughs> that's that's a big one. Because, because he's, he's not for, an ally. Yeah. <laughs> Because he's against Black History Month, um, he hasn't put it there because because he's busy with work and he's excited to go out with friends. And I'm just not as much as a priority. And I've already told him several times to please add things to the calendar. And if I go and tell him again, I'm just gonna be cornered in as a um, a nagging wife. And this is just an example. This is not. No, you went out last a couple of days ago, and I put it on the calendar for myself so that I can remember. Because I know you're not going to remember. It's just not a part of your your um your routine it's a part of my routine to do so oh does he pam greer shout out to pam greer oh my god what uh it was the 50th anniversary screening of foxy brown she got a lifetime achievement award at the toronto black film festival oh what a night no i'm excited for you i'm the one who shared the event with you like i'm, I'm glad you went thank you yeah <laughs> anyway so like that, that's as an example like something simple ha- happens but you create this narrative in your mind that ends up like spiraling into something so much bigger mm. and by choosing to instead of having a, a conversation with your partner to put it flat out on the table to be discussed you instead think well if i bring it to him this is going to happen and then if he says this then i'm going to have to say this and if he says this then i'm gonna have to do that and like you're creating this whole plot that could be as simple as, hey, Coulter, you forgot to put this on the calendar. Here's how I feel about it. Can we talk about this? Are you still an ally? Are you, are, were you waiting for White History Month to get that done? Or? When are we going to get, can we, Don't for do real? It. Don't, no, because when if somebody we... cuts it and puts it on the internet, I cannot save you. What about a straight pride parade, huh? How about one of those? Miss me with that. <laughs> get out of here. Straight pride. No. Nah. We just call it. 
the norm in oh, society. So being straight is norm, huh? Uh, and in society, and if those who receive privileges, absolutely, and those who can live out loud and freely without judgment, typically, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those yeah. Who, who don't, yeah. Those who get to hear about themselves in history, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Those who don't have to avoid mentioning their sexuality in schools. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you're sexy as hell. Thank you, you too. There should be a Dom Pride Month. I guess it's you know like Dominique Pride Month. Oh, so you have to be specific. Yeah. yeah. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. Well, my love, thank you for hosting another episode with me. Yeah. Well, thank you for for co hosting with me. Thank you for also being here with me, your co host. So you're hosting and I'm hosting, and yeah, we're co hosting. Yeah. Yeah. What, did I say something wrong? At Coulter Talks. <laughs> on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. At Dom.Creates on Instagram and at Dom Creates on TikTok. And a little scared by the microphone. I, I, my lip gloss, my lipstick is on it now, so oh, no. I can't rub that off. Or oh, you're going to no. hear it. Um, so if there was anything in the conversation that um, perhaps struck a nerve with you, whether positively or negatively, we'd love to hear about it. Please leave a comment letting us know what you thought of the episode and continuing the conversation. Subscribe, like, and send us money. Oh, and we got a P.O. box. Do you have the number? Yes. No. I'm going to fill time here for a second. Oh. So we got a P.O. box and the P stands for post, I believe, and the O stands for oh, like postal. I think it's maybe office, post office. And it's a box at... Uh, I'm not going to be able to find this. Is it at the mall? Uh, they don't need to know where the office is. Well, we didn't say what mall, right? You probably sent me the message. I did, and I can't find it. So listen, we're going to put it in the description box. Found we're, it. Oh, wow. P.O. Box 30585. Do I need to give... Oh, I guess Oshawa RPO. P.O. Box 30585, Oshawa, RPO, Stevenson King, Ontario, L1J8L8. So the Stevenson King part is not necessary. Okay. Just the, the rest of it then. Anyway, we'll put it in the description. We'll put box. it in the description. <laughs> like I said. We'll put it, like I said a moment ago, in the description. Happy Black History Month, sir. Yeah, I put it down today, eh? Stop the episode. <laughs>